Hello everybody, this is the notes for advanced geometry, starting with chapter 7. Um, as you can see, it's about right triangles and trigonometry. We'll get into the basics of trigonometry. But basically, what this chapter is all about is just right triangles. The relationship between the three sides of a right triangle, which is the Pythagorean theorem. We can use Pythagorean theorem to tell us, uh, maybe it's not a right triangle, but we can definitely know it's an obtuse triangle or an acute triangle. Um, and then there's some special ratios of some sides if it's a right triangle we got certain angles trigonometry is just the study of that relationship between an angle measurement and some side lengths in right triangles so uh, this first video is just the basic what is pythagorean theorem which i think most of you already know a squared plus b squared equals c squared um, you've got to have a right triangle. Pythagorean theorem only works. This, this equation only works when it's a right triangle. Uh, side C is the hypotenuse. A and B are the legs. So it's a leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Okay, that's, that's Pythagorean theorem. Got to have a right triangle. Doesn't matter how the triangle is oriented. It's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A leg squared plus the other leg squared to equal the hypotenuse squared. Now, there are many, many proofs of where this comes from. I think this one is the most basic. Uh, it's not something that you have to know and be able to go through, but you should be able to see it and understand where it's coming from. There are many other proofs. Uh, former President Grover Cleveland, I forget when he was president or what president number he was, uh, but he had a kind of a famous proof. Very similar to this one, but different shapes. You can look it up if you want. So, the basic proof. What we have is this bigger square, and there's a smaller square, This the blue square. It's a little bit smaller. It's put in there so that the four vertices are just touching the sides of the biggest square at certain points. This point, this point, this point. So that the sides are cut into same parts. A's and B's. Okay, so for the red square, area of the red square, okay, area of a square is a side length multiplied by itself. Each of the side lengths of this square are A plus B. Okay, this side, A plus B. So to get the area of the red square, you do a plus b multiplied by a plus b. Now, another look at where the area of this square is coming from. It's still the area of the red square, but we're going to get it a different way. All right, inside of that red square, we got the blue square, which is c times itself, c squared. And, so we're going to add that in, you've got four triangles that are all side lengths of A plus B. So, the area of one of those triangles is one-half times the base times the height, which for each one of them is just A times B. If you look at all these right triangles, A and B are perpendicular to each other. That's what we need for the area of a triangle. So, one-half times A times B is the area of one of those triangles. We have four of them. All right, so we got two different formulas that are giving us the same space, okay, the area of the big square. Because it's the same space, these areas are going to be equal to each other. So now it's just a matter of simplifying some things. Okay, for this first one in red, a plus b times a plus b, just do some foiling. a times a is a squared. The outside terms is a times b. The inside terms is also a times b plus the last terms b times b, which is b squared. We simplify this a little bit. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, now let's look at the other formula. We have this c squared plus 4 times 1 half is 2 times a times b. All right, so if you look at this, just rewriting it, we look at our equation that we have now, we have some common things. You subtract 2ab from the right side and from the left side, it's like math magic. Here's Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 
okay? That's your right triangles in each one of these things. A plus B, A squared plus B squared equals a C squared. So it's just A proof of it. Like I said, it's not a big deal. I'm not going to ask you to go through this, but you should have a, a you should be at least seen the, Pythag the proof of this and understand where it's coming from. So that's it. Okay, please watch the next uh, video for some examples of how it's used and some other wonderful little gems. Bye.